He's Tony, I'm Mike, and this is the wrap up for season two of the Action Bowl! <laughs> <laughs> it's never gonna not be funny to me. So here we are, the wrap up for the Action Bowl. We're gonna talk about some favorites, whether it be the episodes, the movies, the contestants. I got some disappointments. Yep. I got some surprises. And so where would you like to start, good oh, sir? Oh, let's, let's start off at the top of the list. Uh, what, was, what was your favorite episode this season? So, before I get my, my, my favorite <laughs> episode, I'm gonna give some honorable mentions. Uh, week four, which is Jolie Versely, which had the Cyborg uh, 2 in it, yeah, which yeah. I really enjoyed. Uh, week 7, uh, Cruz versus the dude <laughs> for, for, for reasons, uh, namely the, the upset of Tom Cruise by the dude. But my favorite, and I think was probably the most entertaining and probably the most fun to go back and, and watch again, was uh, Statham and Cage. Oh. <laughs> yes, which, which is the episode of uh, Ghost, Ghost Rider and, and Meg. <laughs> yes. That was a crap ton of fun to, I mean, the movies for me were kind of fun and silly to watch. The episode was fun and silly to shoot. And going back and watching it again, it was, I mean, it's just fun. See, the my, whole episode was fun. My favorite episode was actually Black Mask versus Cyborg 2 Glass Shadow because it had been forever since I'd seen Black Mask. Mm -hmm. And Cyborg 2, I had no idea what mm -hmm. to expect. And I genuinely enjoyed I got done watching both of those and I was like, damn, that was a good night of movie watching. It was. <laughs> and, um, yeah, were. yeah. I, I was I had a lot of fun with that one. Now the flip side to that is what was your least favorite episode? So <laughs> <laughs> This honorable mention, number one, is uh, Lee versus State. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the one versus uh, Revolver. Revolver, yeah. 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 Uh, I, <laughs> I, I so much hated the Revolver. And, and the one was just, was just okay. Um, but what's worse than that was uh, Bruce Willis versus Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> uh, which you was, mean Charlie Sheen versus Samuel Jackson? Yes, <laughs> yes, sorry, Charlie Sheen. Yes, Charlie Sheen. <laughs> Because that's the, the rookie. Oh my God, what a piece of shit that movie was. I just, I just want to hold this up right there. It's Charlie Sheen <laughs> versus Samuel Jackson. I like legitimately, I, yeah. I fing hated both, both of those movies. movies. Yes. It, was, it was a complete slog to get through both of them. It was, it was like getting dental work done. It was, it was painful. And let's be honest, the Rookie is a contender for one of the worst films we've ever watched in action mode history. <laughs> I'm not no, saying, I'm not saying no, it is the worst. I'm not saying it is the worst, but if, if we had a like bottom five, it would be in there. Not, not in mine, and I, ha I have four listed because I, the, the list would have been really, really long. <laughs> uh, your favorite contestant? Oh, oh, the dude. Michael Dudikoff. First off, you didn't even know who the hell he was. And I was like, he was an American Ninja. And you're like, all right, throw him on the list. And then I had to go and find the six films that we were going to put in his jar. Who is he? I don't know. He's a new recruit. I don't even know his name. He possessed great skills. And while he went out in round two, that round one victory was so sweet. sweet. Oh, oh, the juice was ripe on that one. <laughs> that ma perfection. Now, I was, was disappointed so to see Tom Cruise go because he has some really good movies in the jar. Yes. And he had the misfortune of pulling night and day. But the right guy won. Yep. And, and I'm just going to say this right now. We've already talked about this. We are going to be doing some Action Bowl leftover episodes, and that is going to be all the films that we wanted to watch but didn't wind up getting to pull from the jar. And the dude will be featured prominently yes. in that. So what about you? Who is so your favorite? Dude <laughs> was also my number one, with a close second being Mia Jovovich. Uh, I mean, I, I, I got appreciation for the woman now. I, I, I get it. <laughs> So yeah, yeah. Least, Least favorite contestant. Michelle mother 
fucking Rodriguez. <laughs> with, with, with a close second to Samuel J. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted so much for her to do well. I wanted her to be like another Mia Jovovich. I wanted you yeah. to actually see some of her movies and go, oh, wow, she's got chops. She's because because I'm her. She's always the bridesmaid. She is always the co-star. She was always the second in command or, or whatever. She's never, you know, very rarely does she actually get to be the action star. But, but I, there's a reason why, because yeah. you've seen this movie and you've seen in just about every other movie she's been in. She's a one note actor. She's got that look on her face like she's got to take a fucking shit like she's <laughs> constipated and she's always a grumpy fucking bitch in everything she's fucking in i've never seen that woman fucking smile in the fucking movie <laughs> you're not wrong tough girls have their place and in the yeah. right role she's wonderful in that regard i haven't but, found that role yet but I, I was gonna say i if we had drawn resident evil out of mia's jar you would have actually got to see her play because michelle rodriguez is uh -huh. in that as well and she is one of the special ops uh, commandos in there, and she's actually really good in that movie. She's she's a spiteful bitch, but she's a really really good spiteful bitch. Well, so. maybe, maybe we'll put in the, in the leftovers. I was gonna say, we'll if, I, actually, if we're <laughs> gonna put a Michelle Rodriguez film in the leftovers, I really want to do Girl Fight because she's a female boxer in that one, and and so it's a bit of a sports film, it's a bit of a drama. Uh, it's it's not it's not just a, a, a redo of Rocky. It's not Million Dollar Baby. It's This is the movie that actually made Michelle Rodriguez. It, like, you know, plucked her out of obscurity on that one. So if we're going to do one, I would I would actually like to do that one. But I'm sure that we could also do the one where uh, it's got Sigourney Weaver and Michelle Rodriguez used to be a man who's been... No, 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 no. We, no. no I won't not, do that to our right. audience. Uh, no, yeah, I won't okay. do that to you guys. No. I love and respect you too much <laughs> to, to, to even... Mention the name of that piece of shit movie. No, that will never happen. So what was your favorite film this season? Okay, so my, my, my honorable mentions are Cyborg 2. Okay. Because that movie came out of nowhere. There yep. were zero expectations for this movie. And God, it was shockingly really well done for what the hell yeah, it was. Yeah, and I, I, I kind of want to go back and watch it again. I, I bought it. <laughs> Well, there you go. <laughs> I bought it because, man, Jack Palance is chewing the scenery. He chews the scenery in that almost as well as he does in Hawk the Slayer. And I was just kind of like, ooh, it's Almost. Loves. Almost. It's, it's close. It's close. <laughs> uh, second honorable mention is The Matrix because I forgot how good that movie actually was and yeah. still is. But number one in my heart, and hopefully <laughs> your heart as well, is The American Ninja. <laughs> uh, for me, I had two. I could not, I really? could not pick. I, the Mask of Zorro. I forgot how good that movie is, and that that it is it is a sublime action film. It's fun. Mm. It's funny. It's mm. entertaining. It's engaging. It is something that anybody and everybody can watch. Yes. And if you can't watch that, and that doesn't get your your pulse going, see a doctor. Um, yeah. Number one, and then the second one was the complete surprise. Mia Jovovich's The Three Musketeers. I I expected nothing. I was like, oh oh, this might be her week. My girl's gonna go out. <laughs> and then that movie came on, and it was so weird, and so different, and so inventive, and so fun. I bought that one on Blu-ray as well. <laughs> so, so yeah, no, I, I like, I did not, I did not know what to expect with that one. I'd never seen it. I don't even remember hearing about it. So I remember hearing about it, but I know it didn't do very well, and and I can see why. But it caught me in the just the right time. I was happy to watch a lot of Asian-inspired films. So it it, it 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 worked. It worked for me. So <laughs> Lee's favorite. I I got four. It, it, it was a longer list, but I edited it down. Uh, starting with Skin Trade. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah. Um, second, Breach of Trust. <laughs> Understandable. See, you, you forgot how bad how many bad movies there are. Three a.m. with Michelle Rodriguez, and then the final because this was like the biggest disappointment film for me. It started off so good, and then so fast. Revolver. <laughs> gun shy and breach of trust. Not a surprise. <laughs> I not know, know gun shy is not a surprise because I, I have never, I've always tried to find the good in any mm -hmm. film. I try to find like the merit of the film. I, I hated gun shy, but breach of trust. <laughs> breach of trust is a dumpster fire <laughs> on a hot summer day and it's filled with wet garbage. <laughs> it's, there's nothing pleasant about that film. I, I literally like, I, I will never watch that film again. I'm kind of questioning if I'll ever watch a Michael Bean 
same film ever again after that one. That's how terrible it was. Oh, God. Uh, poor Michael <laughs> Bean. He'll never have a good sex scene ever. <laughs> ever. It just won't happen. I'm just glad Sigourney Weaver was smart enough to be all, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> surprises. What were some of the surprises for you? All the big names fell. I, 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 did, them, I, I did not. I did not expect. I did not expect Tom Cruise to go out as early as he mm -hmm. did. I did not expect Charlize. To, I really thought after when we got down to the final four, I really thought, oh shit, this is Charlize Theron's game because she still had like several really good movies in the jar, and her performance. She, she had pulled Atomic Blonde and she had pulled Mad Max Fury Road, and both of those are some of the highest scoring films of the season. Um, and and so I thought, oh shit, if she pulls like old guard like for that final round, she could she could wrap this whole thing up. So I was surprised that she went out. Um, I was very surprised that Antonio Banderas went out, and he had Desperado and and a bunch of other movies in there. Um, so so I mean, no one thinks of Charlie Sheen when they think action stars, no. but but he qualified. <laughs> he qualified under our rules. So so yeah, I was like really surprised that it came down. I mean, it came down to Jet Li and Keanu Reeves, and neither one of them are small names by any stretch, no. but neither one of them are Tom Cruise or Charlize Theron or, or even Antonio Banderas at his peak. We're, we're past that now. But, no. but, that but, was... but it goes to show that the Keanu Reeves won this with two mega movies yeah. still under his belt. Yes. So, I mean, that, that solidifies it. That yeah. makes him feel legit. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And then the other big surprise was the dude. Um, mm -hmm. the, the dude, again, that, that upset was phenomenal. But then on top of all that, it was like he, he peaked. And then, and then the following matchup, he pulled Avenging Force. And it was just kind of like, I was so rooting for him. And I me just, too. it killed me to not like, like try to finagle it. But I tried to be honest with my scoring on that one. So the dude had to fall and it, it brought a tear to my eye. Yeah. But <laughs> No, it was sad. No, surprises for me were uh, the movie Cyborg 2. Again, more fun than it had any right to be. Sure. Um, let's see. And then uh, my appreciation, appreciation of uh, Mila Jovovich so. came out of nowhere. I came in, like, not actively despising the woman, but, you know, it, it wasn't Indifferent, too, yeah. It, it wasn't too far off. <laughs> so that was huge. And then number one, of course, is the upset. <laughs> the dude <laughs> taking out <laughs> Tom Cruise was just... It's just, I wish we had one of those like, like every season, which we we didn't have one last season, did we? No, the the problem with last season was we only had four movies in the jar for each yeah. of our competitors, so it was it was too good, too bad on this mm -hmm. one. This one adding the extra movies in so that it really was a helped. random draw every week. There was no like, well, it could be this or it's, by the time we got to the final, we knew what the films were going yeah. to be. We didn't even need to draw. We still had to this season, yeah. and and that's so does that that rules in locked in. It's set in stone. Oh yeah, so. yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, disappointments for me. Uh, uh, honorable mention uh, Tony Ja, which he he pulled Skin Tray, which ended up being more of a Dolph Lundgren movie yeah. than a Tony Ja movie. Yeah. So I didn't get a chance to really show him. We didn't get to see Tony Ja be until. Tony ja. Until we saw Monster Hunter. Yeah, Monster Hunter is again not even his fucking film, but he has so much more to do in that movie. Yeah, yeah. And actually showed his acting. And he didn't have to speak in the damn movie. And the only thing he had to say was chocolate. Yeah. And, and bait. <laughs> and you had everything you fucking need to know about Tony motherfucking John. It was awesome and it was fucking glorious. And then my number one disappointment is Avenging Force. Coming yep. off of that high yep. of American Ninja and then coming to the fucking low of Avenging Force. <laughs> On paper, is great. It should have been a fucking home run, but in execution, no, it, it, it sucks. So that was that was a big disappointment. Uh, my biggest disappointment this season mm -hmm. was the final. Um, uh, not even, not even, not even gonna Fair lie enough. about it. I mean, actually, Fair at the enough. end of the day, it was Jet Li and Keanu Reeves, and I had such high hopes. And then we drew those movies, and I hadn't seen either of them. Yeah. I was hoping one of them was gonna be like, a, oh wow, a, a definite, like, oh yeah, you definitely won. Yeah. Period, exclamation point. And Street Kings is just meh. Yeah. And, and Once Upon a Time in China is just meh. Are, are they bad films? No. no. But are they, are they great films? No. So it was just, it, it was the first week out of all the weeks, out of all the films that we've watched, and we've watched 30 movies for this season, it was the only week that, like, there was no redeeming it. It was like I had to go find another movie to watch <laughs> after I got done just to cleanse my palate because I was just like so 
bored. And to be honest with you, I fell asleep on Once Upon a Time in China, and I had to actually get up, rewind it to back to where I had dozed off at and start playing it again. And it, it not the movie. It was like 1.30 in the morning when I was watching it, and I was, I was good and tired already. Yeah, and I'd already watched Street Kings and was already kind of bored. <laughs> so so yeah, there, there you go. That's my biggest disappointment of the season. Fair enough. <laughs> Overall thoughts. This was... I think Head Shoulders uh, more fun for me this yeah. season than, than season one. Um, the format changes were great. Adding those two extra movies really, really um, opened this up and made it, you know, um, the, you know, the chance for upset to be to be greater, and then you know, just the more range of movies. Um, and it was it was cool to see. Uh, Two contestants that I had zero faith in, uh, Charlize Theron and mm -hmm. uh, Mila Jovovich, go so deep yeah. in, 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 yeah. in, in, in the, to, into the rounds. I mean, they made it to, you know, to the the, the, the semifinals. I just want know? to point this out to you here, right here, under my surprises. <laughs> Mike's newfound appreciation for Mia Jovovich. Yeah. That was that was the one thing I was happiest about because now if I, I want to throw like uh, you know let's review a Mia Jovovich mm -hmm. film, you're not going to be all like, uh, you're going to be like, all right, let's go. <laughs> no, this is true. This is true. I mean, she's still got some trash out there, but you know, hey, I'm going to be more open, absolutely, to it. Uh, um. I, I want to actually go back and do like some of her early films before she hooked up with with Paul W S Anderson and, yeah. and like literally just started doing you know, like her genre films, her action films, video mm -hmm. game films, all that kind of stuff. Um, because she actually, like I said, she was a really promising dramatic actress. Mm -hmm. She was doing some really challenging and interesting stuff back then. Um, so so just expect those to be added to the list as we get you know further into 2024 and and, and kind of back to normal on <laughs> stuff again. <laughs> um, overall thoughts. This season was a blast. I had a ton of mm. fun. Um, I, I wish that our viewership had been a little bit more consistent between the episodes. And I just want to give a shout out to Atomic Punk. Thank you for following and playing along. Thank you for dropping your scores in. And thank you for letting us know when one of us was full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it, is, it is much appreciated. And I hope that we get a lot more of that kind of interaction from, from the folks that are watching this mm -hmm. and, and everybody that, that you know did follow along uh, this season. Um, and here's, here's something else I want to throw out there for you guys, too. Um, if you have a nomination for someone that you'd like to see in Season 3 of the Action Bowl, which is not going to be coming to August, so you got plenty of time to think about this one, throw it down in the comments. And here is the only rule that we have. They have to have six action films in their catalog. We don't care if we know them. We don't care if we've never heard of them before. We don't care if they're their biggest life. There's some obvious ones that we already have on our mind for season three. But if you have any suggestions, throw them down there. Let us know. We are all ears and we've got a little bit of time before we get on that at season three. So, so you got... Charts and some other I, stuff going I, on here. What do we got going on? I have on? charts and graphs, and I'm going to say this, and I'm going to throw this up on the screen for you guys, too. I'm going to say that this season, I legitimately looked at our scoring, and I scored one-third of our movies as above 20, uh -huh. one-third of our movies in the teens, and then one-third of our movies in the, you know, below 10. Uh -huh. So, which, which is what you would expect with 30 films. Mm -hmm. You rode right down the middle the yeah. entire, the entire season. There's only one movie that you scored less than, or two movies that you scored, or no, one movie, two movies that you scored less than a 10 on, mm. and that was uh, Jason Statham and Revolver, you gave a 9-2, and Michelle Rodriguez, 3 a.m., you gave an 8-2. Um, Deservedly so, too. So I, yeah. I, I, I'm not saying that. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, here's... But this, I, this is no different than last season. Last season was the exact same thing. I had a very tight band in my scoring, and you scored just pretty much the same as last season. Yeah, yeah. You had huge swings in your appreciation and straight-up loathings of these movies <laughs> so i'm the passionate one he's the angry one <laughs> and and for me it's it's one of those i would rather watch a movie that i hate and mm. feel something for it than watch a movie that i'm indifferent to when it's all yeah. said and done but when i love a movie i really love a movie yeah so i mean i i really love the movie too i'm just i just don't hand out nines and tens like candy like you you gotta earn it i, I mean you <laughs> 
You really gotta go that extra mile. I had, I had <laughs> like two movies, I think, that actually had tens, <laughs> and that would have been Fury Road mm -hmm. and uh, Zorro. Yeah. Um, other than that, everything else was was nine, eight, seven. So, yeah. so yeah. Which, which even last season for me, I think the only thing I scored above a twenty-five that I remember was uh, Conan, and like maybe one other movie. Probably Bloodsport. Bloodsport, you I gave Bloodsport. a ten to for entertainment. I'm pretty sure because it's yeah. just it's just hard cold fun. <laughs> um, I mean, it's straight up <laughs> cocaine fun. You know? <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, so what, what's the other? Uh, oh, this is actually here? just the numeric scores that that we had. So if we needed to go back and, and just take a look at any of the scoring that we had for for any of the episodes and what you scored it, what I scored it, and what the average was, it's basically what I used to make the chart on this one for. Um, you know what would have been interesting, and you should do this next year, is uh, the viewership, like who, which which contestant, which episode got yeah. got more views? Because uh, I because I know. Um, Statham, anything that has Statham yeah. in it got tremendous views out of. Jet Lee did well. Yeah. Um, Mia Jovovich did well. The surprises, <clears throat> Keanu Reeves episodes, no one watched them. And mm. I, I'm stunned by that Me one, too. to be perfectly really honest with you. I'm really shocked by that one as well. Um, I, I really expected Keanu Reeves to, to draw a bit of a, a crowd on it, but. Charlize Theron drew more <laughs> viewership than Keanu yeah. Reeves did. I wonder if it's just, a uh, you know, just. Too much John Wick going on, you know. I think everybody's maybe just John Wicked out. Yeah. So could I, be. I, I don't know. I'm speculating. Throw, throw it down in the comments. Why? But you guys hate on uh, our <laughs> champion Keanu Reeves. I mean, that's that's pretty funny. That our champion has worse viewership than uh, most of the other contestants. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, <laughs> Charlie Sheen, I think, has slightly worse, but he only made one appearance before going into the the action mold game. So. Yeah. I don't think Samuel Jackson did all that well either with his. I, he did. He did okay, but well, he had the the upshot was Samuel Jackson went up against um, well Charlie Sheen, but then he also went up against and uh, uh, he went up against uh, Jason Statham. No, wait, he didn't. Let's see, J Samuel Jackson and then oh, Long Kiss Goodnight and Keanu Reeves. Yeah, so yeah, uh, yeah. There you so go. I, I don't know if I should fault Samuel Jackson or if I should fault Charlie Sheen and Keanu Reeves. <laughs> well, it, well, obviously, if he had more draw or pull. He yeah, would have, he yeah. Would viewership would have been higher yeah, on those episodes. So, so, so yeah. yeah, people give two about Samuel motherfucking Jackson. <laughs> so there you have it. There you are. <laughs> to be honest, he was in six action films, but I. I well, he wasn't a star of any of them either. No. So that's the biggest thing. I well, mean, actually, he was. All the films that he was the star in, we didn't draw any of them. Right. No. So, so I mean, really, he shouldn't have made it that far. He really should have been eliminated the first. Around. But, <laughs> it's just know, the fact that he went against Charlie Sheen in the rookie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the action bowl. It's all about the draw. It's all about the motherfucking scores. So there you have it. There you are. Um, I got nothing else. I got nothing else. I am good. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you, Atomic Punk, for playing along. Hopefully, next season we'll get more folks playing along. Um, we will be back with another season of the Action Bowl, probably around August. So stay tuned for that. And other than that, we will see you then.